But I want to ask you, okay, so one of the things that I find fascinating in my research about this is that there's a moment where the character in American Moore um, talks about how they relate to Titania and the, and the masculinity. I just want you to, I just want it, I want to hear you talk about this more because I found that very fascinating um, that, um, you know, the audience comes in and they see this actor waiting on stage um, to audition for Othello and then the play takes off, right? Mm -hmm. And then you, you, um, the character says um, to Tanya's speech, why did you throw that in there? Well, the frame for that moment is, is that I'm trying to paint the portrait of a black actor who has loved Shakespeare from an early age. Mm -hmm. And no matter how much he loves it and no matter how much he wants to explore all of the bounty that, 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 that Shakespeare you know, offers us as, mm -hmm. as a culture, he is perpetually steered towards Othello. Mm -hmm. And the reasons for that are no different than you know, me being asked, do you play basketball mm -hmm. because I'm tall and black? Mm -hmm. you know, which I have been asked endlessly you know, mm -hmm. throughout, throughout, throughout my life. And Othello is no different. You, know, you, can, you can go, you can go do the work, you can learn, you can grow, and you can fall in love with all the Shakespeare you want to, but people are only going to talk to you about Othello. Nobody's talking to you about Hamlet. Nobody's talking to you about Romeo. You know, nobody's talking to you about Coriolanus. They're talking to you about... You know, so uh, I wanted to illustrate how this young actor was in love with the language. As I was in love with the poetry. He didn't care with gender. Gender wasn't within part of He like whatever the speech was, whatever that person was talking about, they were throwing down, and he was feeling what they were saying. So he wanted to say it because the words in his mouth, coming through his instrument and and out of his body, were a way for him to express his black angst, anger, depth, intelligence, vociferousness, without somebody trying to shut him down. Mm -hmm. When it takes on the accent of blackness, mm -hmm. when it takes on the the, 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 the the demeanor of blackness, when somebody's looking out from under their eyes, when they're, when, when, when they're postured like a black man is postured, when they're up in their voice, you know, that is immediately threatening to, 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 to all of this white structure, right? Mm -hmm. Immediately threatening. And, 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 and the knee-jerk reaction is to shut it down. And he went to see, I went, Mm -hmm. to see Shakespeare and said, you know, Shakespeare's characters, everything out of their mouth is, 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 is full of enthusiasm and energy, right? They open their mouths and they got some, something to say and it's coming, it's, it's coming out in the most eloquent and sublime poetry that you, you, know, you can imagine. Yeah. So this character took, off, took, 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 took that and said, I can express me mm -hmm. only through, through, through this language, you know? And it doesn't matter what character that is, 